Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 20th, okay? So, we're just going to see what comes up. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? So, let's just see what comes up. What do we got for a message today? What do we have for the 20th? Or thereabouts? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is options. We have options on the 20th. So there's options, choices, needing to make a choice. Confused, what should I do? What should I do? Now this is hold on, hold on to something. Should I hold on to it? Should I let it go? Should I choose another option? What should I do? Hmm, what should I do? Options, choices, big choice. Looks like we have a big choice here. There is something that is stable, because this is stability. Holding on, holding on to something that is stable. A foundation. Holding on very, very tight. So somebody is uh, wanting to hold on to something. Oh, let's get another card. Mmm. Five of Wands. Five of Wands is competition, right? It is conflict. It is a battle of some sort. There's some sort of competition here. There's sparring. There's fighting. There's competition. There's choices. There's options. Um, there's a need to make a choice, whether you want to hold on or you want to let go, if you want to choose something else. There's a struggle here. There's some sort of struggle with that five of wands reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that has been under a lot of tension and there's a need to uh, stop playing a game because this is a game. Five of wands is a game, okay? It's stop playing games here. Make a choice. Six of Pentacles reversed underneath that Seven of Cups reversed or upright. Six of Pentacles reversed is lack of reciprocation. Somebody's not reciprocating. They're not giving. There's one-sidedness here. So we have one person that is giving and the other is not. Six of Pentacles reversed. There's some sort of disharmony. There's uh, lack of give and take, lack of equality. We got somebody here that is holding on to something that is safe, that is stable. They're not giving to something else. There could be some stubbornness here. There's some, or even some selfishness. We also, oh, okay, let's get another card before we go any further. Five of Cups reversed. There's another prospect. There's another option. Somebody has been focusing on the, you know, the loss or crying or moping or whatever. But now they're they're realizing that there's another prospect. There's another option. This is underneath the Seven of Cups as well. This is beginning to realize that there's another option. So. Somebody is beginning to realize that there is another option. They may be taking another option because they're not receiving. They're not receiving anything from an individual that is very stubborn, you know, that is playing it safe or something like that. If you're not receiving, then, you know, if you're not receiving what you deserve or you're not receiving reciprocation, then the best choice is to choose somebody else. There's obviously some players here with the five of wands because that's, that's players. All done playing games. Ten of wands reversed. Ten of wands reversed is making a conscious change. 
letting some responsibilities go, letting something go. We have somebody here that has been trying to do too much. They have a lot on their plate. They've been very busy, 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 busy. They've achieved success and they've been having a, you know, having to keep up that success and work really, really hard. They've been missing opportunities because they've been doing too much. But this is making a conscious change to let something go so that they can relax. Somebody needs to relax. They need to let go of some things. But this is somebody that maybe, I don't know if this person is frivolous or they're a miser or, you know, they're, 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 they're focused on their money. We have somebody here that may be focused on their money. They're focused on, you know, uh, stability, you know, security. And uh, that's why they're not giving. They're not giving their energy or their time maybe to, I don't know, maybe it's a relationship or something else. We have somebody that is needing to re-examine their choices with the Seven of Cups. They need to re-examine their choices. They may be missing an opportunity for a partnership because they have too many things going on in their life and they need to re-prioritize. Re -re Two of Wands. Now the Two of Wands is a decision and it's at a crossroads. What do you do? What do you do? Do you uh, step into unknown territory? Uh, it's time to make a choice. Do you, is, do you stay or do you go? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So there's a choice that is being made on this day. We have somebody here that has an opportunity in their hands. This person has the whole world in their hands. They have an opportunity for success because that world is success. They have an opportunity to expand themselves and have something that, you know, go into a space where the grass is greener, but they have to make the decision to do that. And I feel like we have somebody here that is, it's almost like they're fighting with themselves or they're struggling with... Um, they're struggling with some demands, demands with that Ten of Wands. Somebody is struggling. They're struggling with some sort of demands. They have a lot of responsibilities, and I feel like they have an opportunity right now to uh, leave something behind and go in a different direction because the Two of Wands is about movement, right? They're thinking about it right now. They're in the process where they're at that crossroads and it's time to make a decision. You know, what do I do? Do I, do I stay here or do I go? Do I stay where it's safe or do I, stay, do I keep doing what I've been doing or do I focus on another path? The Two of Wands is um, where you're at that point where you need to make a spur of the moment decision. So somebody needs to make a spur of the moment decision or they're going to be making a spur of the moment decision. They may be deciding to let something go um, because they have another opportunity here. With that Five of Cups reverse, that's, an, that's seeing. That's like after missing something, after focusing on something else for so long, you know, realizing that there is an opportunity. There's two of cups here. There's an opportunity for a partnership. But it's a choice. There's a choice that needs to be made. So we have somebody here that is exploring their options right now. Um, they have been overwhelmed. It feels like it almost feels like we have somebody here that's been playing it safe as well. But the Six of Pentacles reverse. I'm not sure if we have somebody that just isn't giving. Maybe they. I don't know. Let's see what that Six of Pentacles in reverse is. They haven't been giving because they have so much on their plate. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. This is a planner of some sort. I wonder if we have a theft here or a thief or something. There's somebody could be dealing with a thief. With the Seven of Swords next to the Six of Pentacles reverse. There could be a thief here that is caused. There is a thief. <clears throat> There's also some sort of sneakiness, some sort of... Uh, making an escape as well. I feel like we have somebody here that may be trying to, um, I don't know if they're trying to escape responsibility. They don't want responsibility or something like that. So that's why they're playing games. And I don't know how that resonates with you. This camera's a little crooked. 
<laughs> Sorry. You get it right. Sorry. I just noticed it. Okay. So anyhow, um, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is, there could be some sort, there is some sort of deception. There's lies. Somebody is looking at something. Um trying to escape if they're trying to escape responsibility or something interesting eight of cups walking away saying goodbye I, what i was going to say before i started shuffling just now was uh slipping away feels like we have somebody here that may be slipping away as well. Somebody may be slipping away. They're deciding not to give because maybe they're just one of the players. Maybe they're just one of the options and they realize they're just one of the options. So they decide to leave. You know, if they're not getting any reciprocation, if they're not getting any, uh, um, well, if all they're getting is crumbs, then to hell with it. I mean, who wants crumbs? damn camera did it move or what it feels like it's still crooked anyhow um eight of cups eight of cups that is goodbye goodbye see ya so i think that we we have somebody here that is not getting what they deserve they're not they may be deciding to leave they may be choosing another option making a choice to choose another option leaving behind something that is emotionally disappointing Ace of Cups reverse. So this is sad. It's tears. It's uh, drowning in emotions. We may have somebody here that is drowning in their emotions. They're really, really sad. They're having a hard time. This is emotional shutdown. It's, it's a lack of emotional content. Um, it's sadness. It's tears. So I wonder if, and there, there could be some self-deception here as well. Could I just put that next to the Seven of, of Swords? Uh, there's also a lack of self-love here. We may have somebody here that is not following their heart. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is making a decision. We have somebody here that is in the process of making a choice. They're at that point where they have to choose. It's like they're, they do. They have to choose. There's heartbreak here with the Ace of Cups reverse. That's It is. It is definitely heartbreaking. So there is there is heartbreak here. Um, hair of font on the bottom. Hair of font is about commitment. It's about believing. It's about gut. It's about intuition. Could also be dealing with a Taurus. Um, hair of font is believing in oneself. There's a higher power that is guiding somebody. There's a channeler here. Somebody has a direct connection to God. Um, they're being guided. This is guidance. Somebody is being guided to follow their gut in some way. There's some sort of lies or deception here. Somebody's, uh, I don't know if they're trying to escape their feelings or trying to ignore their feelings. Something like that. Push down their feelings. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, goodbye. This is like... I have to say goodbye. I have to. You know what I mean? The Eight of Cups is I have to. There's, 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 I'm not getting, I'm not, I can't live on crumbs. You know, I can't, I can't, uh, not, if I'm not getting what I deserve, if I'm not getting reciprocation, if there's no equal give and take here, then, you know, that's sad. <laughs> it is sad. Anyhow, Seven of Cups is exploring other options. 
there's consequences in the Seven of Cups card. So I feel like we have somebody here that is dealing with some consequences. Maybe they're dealing with consequences for not... This might be for the other person. Somebody is dealing for co with consequences for not giving, for not reciprocating. You know, it, it takes two. Not it takes two. So anyhow, um, and that two of wands would say it takes two next to the ace of cups reverse, not one. So we definitely have a one sidedness here, and and that doesn't work. Saying goodbye. There's a need to have faith. There's a need to believe. There's a need to follow your gut. We have somebody here that obviously hasn't been listening to their intuition with the Ace of Cups reversed. They haven't been listening to their gut. They need to listen to their gut. They need to make a move. It's time. It's time to step into unknown territory with that Two of Wands let go of maybe some responsibilities or make a conscious change with the with the ten of wands reverse it's also freeing yourself ten of wands reverse is freeing it's like letting go of something that has been uh stopping you or stopping them somebody needs to let go of something that has been stopping them from receiving you know what they deserve We also have somebody here that is cheating themselves of love. Seven of Swords next to the Ace of Cups reversed. They're probably losing an opportunity. They're losing an opportunity because they are choosing to focus on everything else but love. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is happily ever after, right? This is a spiritual blessing. This is a happy relationship. This is happiness and commitment. And the Hierophant is commitment as well. It's commitment. It's marriage. This is marriage, proposal, a get-together, a commitment, happiness, happy home, happy foundation. Um, so there is an opportunity for forever here or something like that. Um there is there is somebody is cheating themselves of I just put it underneath the seven of swords they're cheating themselves of happiness they're they're cheating themselves by by taking on too many responsibilities and ignoring an opportunity for love there is going to be a get together this is a get-together. It is a celebration, a get-together, a party, a celebration, whatever. There could be, even be a reunion of some sort. Somebody is going to be getting together with an individual or individuals because this is going to a get-together of some sort or getting together. There is another prospect here with the Five of Cups reversed. As soon as somebody decides to move forward with that Two of Wands, that is when you you go where the grass is greener. You know, you have to you have to face your fears and just do it. You have to go. You have to you have to make that conscious change to. Uh, say goodbye to the heartbreak or whatever say goodbye to you know the emotionally disappointing situation and focus on the future because there's another option here that is being ignored take the other option because everybody deserves to be loved right and they deserve attention there is something here that can be held on to. It can be. Maybe there could be something here that can also be saved. With the with the four of four of pentacles, the four of pentacles is saved. There's something here that can be saved. There's a relationship that can be saved and I, I don't say that very often. It can be saved with reciprocation. It can be saved with 
uh, movement. But there's a need to stop playing games. One more card. Mm -hmm. Hierophant again. So I don't know if we're dealing with a Taurus or what, but we're dealing with a commitment here. This is all about a commitment. It's about marriage. It's about uh, listening to your gut, faith and trust, believe in yourself, follow your own path. Somebody is being guided. I put it right over the Ten of Cups. They're guided. They're being guided, divinely guided towards happiness. But right underneath that, underneath the hero font, exactly is the Seven of Swords. They're cheating themselves. Somebody is cheating themselves of the ultimate happiness by not giving because the Six of Pentacles is reversed. There's a need to reciprocate. With, it's kind of like communication, okay? If there's no communication, there's no reciprocation, and that ain't going to work. There's stubbornness here, too. There is stubbornness with the Four of Pentacles. But there is saving. So there's, a, there's an opportunity to save something if, if we have an individual that makes a conscious change to follow their heart with the Ace of Cups reversed. Somebody hasn't been following their heart. Or they haven't been following their intuition. They've been fighting something. Struggling. Really struggling. There's another prospect here with the Five of Cups reversed. There's another option. There's a need to walk away from the emotional discontentment. Stop giving your energy to everything else. Focus on a relationship. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, one more card. There's sadness here with the Ace of Cups reverse. Sadness over a relationship next to the Ten of Cups. Maybe it's, the relationship has ended. Tens are completions. It's because of somebody's choice. Somebody has chosen to focus on everything but. Oh, God. I just shuffled again. The Four of Wands. This is about commitment. Somebody needs to commit. They need to commit to what they want. This is... There is going to be an upcoming get-together. Whatever this get-together is, it, it has something to do with commitment and marriage. There could be an upcoming marriage that comes out of this. You know, with the hero font and this card, I mean, there, there's something to do. in the Ten of Cups, I mean, come on now. There could definitely have some somebody maybe getting together with somebody that they're going to marry. After they say goodbye, though, because the Eight of Cups is a goodbye. It's goodbye. Something about goodbye. I'm goodbye. There's also the end of a conflict here with the Ten of Wands reversed. That is a conflict or something that is ending, okay? It's the end of a conflict. If we have the Ten of Wands right next to it, it's making a conscious change to, you know, choose another option with the Two of Wands right next to it. There's something happening that is heartbreaking that may be causing somebody to make a conscious change. It's, it is heartbreaking. It could be a heartbreaking ending of some sort that, you know, causes change. There is going to be a commitment. There's a commitment that is coming that leads to, I don't know if it leads to marriage or what, but, uh, hmm? 
somebody's about to receive a proposal or an offer. Okay, this is real. It's solid. It's stable. It's from somebody that is wanting to build the foundation. This is somebody that is loyal. And whatever this offer is, I don't know what kind of offer it is, but it's a real solid opportunity that brings happiness because the Four of Wands is happiness and so is in the Ten of Cups. So somebody's about to receive an opportunity that they can hold on to, that they can take to the bank, that they can keep and have and hold and keep and have and hold. Okay, so that's what I got. Good luck.